Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing Poland here in the Open Earth House 4. We are, well, we're at war with Pomerania and Bohemia. Oh my god, a second revolt? Ugh. Let me see if I can get access through Bohemia. We can, I mean, through um, Brittany, and we can land some troops and then go over there and kill them. I tried selling that to Brittany, and they said yes, but it never actually uh, sold the province for some damn reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, one sec. Let me change some settings here. There. Okay. And that's a little better. Yeah. Process priority. Anyway. Uh, unpause. Continue with the invasion of Pomerania. Pomerania Derpia. Pomer Derpia. Wow. <laughs> Brandenburg took more land. My goodness. I wonder if that means Austria can join the war against me now. I don't think so. The war started a long time ago, right? Yeah, it started last year. So I don't think they can join the war now. Damn it, Portugal. Leave my cardinal alone. My cardinal. You can't have him. End of story. Yeah, Brandenburg is getting big up here. They have a lot of nice base tax provinces. I'm surprised Austria is keeping their alliance with them. Hmm. Get back to Stockholm and I'll uh, hunt rebels. There goes Vor Pomern. Uh, that should be enough to peace out. Go to the shop. Uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Someone in my Eve team speak just keeps chiming in for whatever reason. Wait till January anyway. Max out relations with all these fools. Okay, hunt rebels for you. And you can come back from Skov. And let's peace out. He won't even become a vassal? Really? I have to finish sieging this province? Okay. I can wait. <laughs> it's just a teensiest bit annoying, that's all. And yeah, we could make Bohemia spit out uh, Silesia. Get rid of your treaties with Muscovy and Burgundy and Bavaria, Brandenburg. Get rid of your treaties with people. Alright, Silesia's free. And he's, what, Protestant? Ha! Stupid Silesia. There we go. And you become a vassal. Okay, good. So I was worried about the whole vassal thing because we are over by one. But we're still getting seven points a month, so it's probably okay. Uh, we can't demand they convert because that's another 88%. It's one of the weird changes from, I think, 1.3. But yeah, a little bit of aggressive expansion, not a big deal. Uh, let's peace out. All right, new vassal. Uh, go to Donzig, and yeah, why don't we make our capital here in Donzig? Oh, that's beautiful. This should change our income quite a bit. You cannot move your capital if there are rebels in the country. Really? 
Well, that's strange. Uh, okay, though. Here, get my trade ships. Go back to patrolling... I don't know. Go to Novgorod. Look. You guys patrol... Uh, the Baltic. Whatever. Uh, I want to move my capital to Danzig so we can make some more money off of trade. Where's my uh, transports? 11 transports. Okay. Come on over here. Pick up these clowns. Uh, can I get some access in Brittany? Place to be? They won't buy the other half of Iceland for some damn reason. I guess because there's rebels there? So let's see if we can get access and go land there and then kill the rebels from Reykjavik. I don't know if we can though, but we'll try. <sighs> okay. And more rebels, of course. Okay, you're ready to go. Let's come back from Novgorod. You're also ready to go. Come back from Riazan. And who needs hugs? Bosnia? Bosnia needs hugs. Okay. Can do. Relations go. Wow, these ships take a while, don't they? It's just galleys and transports, but oh well. More rebels. Goody. You know me, I love rebels. Nothing quite like rebels in the morning. Okay, now I'm not sure if getting access to Brittany will allow me to walk into their uh, fog of war, but let's go find out. And Portugal, leave my cardinal alone, please. Nope. I can't. So until I discover that province, I can't do shit about those rebels. Well, that kind of sucks, balls. Here, go to Viborg. And uh, let's get rid of our access, because that doesn't help. You know what we could do is we could declare war on them. That would let me land troops. Hmm. And I do have a CB because we border them. And France would probably help me fight Castile. <sighs> that seems like such a crappy w reason to send troops up here is just because of a, of a war. But I can't move my capital right now. It's very disappointing. We're making eight ducats a month. That's not bad. Our force limit's up to 87. Okay. Hmm. Well, we should focus on some buildings then. We'll do our unique buildings first. That march will be very nice. We need another war with Muscovy. But I think I want to start the annexation process first. More Protestantism. God damn it. Tower, my bad. Coming in. And pick up these last few clowns. There we go. Two free Diplos. Um, I don't know. France and Austria are pretty tip-top. Silesia, maybe. Okay, more conversions. Go, go, go. Don't stop on my account. Keep those conversions coming, baby. 
And the obligatory check for Austria's dynasty. Still good. Damn it. All I need is for your heir to die. Is that too much to ask? I just want your heir to die. That's all. And then France and I can beat the shit out of you and I'll have your throne. That's all I want. At least the rebels don't put up much of a fight. That's nice. Fifteen forty one October. All right. Fast forward to fifteen forty one October. Hmm. And it looks like these guys are getting very heavily comp very heavy competition now. I probably just shouldn't bother. Yeah, we'll hold on to our points until someone better comes along. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I need to get claims. Why am I not doing that? I need claims on Muscovy. Oh, I already have one there for 15 years. All right, let's go for Nieva. Do I have a mission for that? I think I do. Oh, the mission's gone. I used to have a mission to claim Nieva. Darn it. Okay. Claim Nieva. They are still a rival, I think, right? Let me check, just to be sure. Yes, okay. And Castile, for some reason. Britain has rivaled us. Hmm. Muscovy has unrivaled us. <laughs> yeah, Muscovy doesn't see us as an equal anymore. Oh, eight rebels in Viborg. Take them out, good sir. Kingi. Go ahead and kill them. Come on. Hurry up. I won't spawn these rebels until you're done, so I can get my general. It's kind of weird how generals just teleport across the map. Doesn't make much sense. Then again, it is a video game, right? The army has to walk, but the general teleports. He's magical. <laughs> Nobody cares. Hmm. How much do we need for the march? Uh, 506 ducats. Okay. That's not that bad. Oh, free stability. Saint proclaimed. Nice. Very nice. Hmm. Claims on Yeva. Good. Work on Kexholm. Damn it. Oh, oh, tech up time. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, Portugal, leave my dude alone. And can we stop in Bosnia? Yeah, we're good in Bosnia. Okay. Uh-oh. Have you converted anything? Yeah, he converted one. Well, he converted one province. I approve of you converting a province. Thank you, Novgorod. You're the best. In the meantime, get me another damn claim. Oh, we finished converting too. Convert away! Yay! What are the base taxes up here? One, one, and one. They're all base one. Beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> 
become the papal controller. Man, I would love that. We have a mission to kill Saxa Lauenberg. Remove Saxa Lauenberg from the map. Yeah, that'll happen. Okay, Diplomat's home. Uh, the, the, the October of next year, right? We gotta wait. Well, work on Pskov then. Austria? Nope. Damn it. At least our prestige is staying high. We can become Defender of the Faith! <laughs> Hell no. Okay, now we can build our march. Let us do that. Where to build the march? Maybe Poznan? It adds 675 manpower. That's so nice. Yeah, do it in Poznan. 675 extra manpower. That's beautiful. Come on, Novgorod. Kill the rebels. Okay, we got a claim again. More claims. We lost a claim on Celestria. That's fine. And we need to start the fourth claim before we declare war. So, finish this claim, start the annexation of Novgorod, start the fourth claim, and then go to war. That's how we do. We do have some spare points, but I think we'll save it. Because I can't compete with that guy, yeah. There's just too many people competing. Brittany has insulted us. For reals? I mean... Is that smart? That doesn't feel smart. Why is Brittany insulting one of the largest nations in the world? I don't know. You crazy, Brittany. Those claims go so fast. Look at that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Regents in Burgundy. <laughs> it's kind of weird. The King of Burgundy did not die. Alright, come on back from Pskov. Got our claim on Kexholm. Get the next claim. And come back from Silesia. October 25th. Alright, next month. No problem. Ottomans are embargoing us. No one cares. Uh, bring our troops to the border. I'll leave 14 down here for whatever reason. Rezev, do you... I mean, Riazan, do you still have any claims? No, nope, all his claims are gone. Well, he has claims on Crimea, but that doesn't help me at all. Uh, it's good until... 1552... 1553... And 1554. So, if we go to war with Crimea within the next 13 years, then we can feed them these three provinces. I'm okay with that, but... For the most part, I'm probably just not going to worry about it. We're going to start the annexation of them within a couple years anyway. Alright, get this started. Oh, we converted more. Yay, convert things. Good job. Guten Jobin. Convertin. So how long will that take? Uh, nine years. Okay. That's fine with me. And we can start our war with Muscovy. He has no allies. <laughs> uh, Crimea, yeah. If Crimea didn't have this alliance with the Ottomans, this would be perfect. 
But since he does have the alliance with the Ottomans, I'm just not going to declare war on Crimea. We'll declare war on Muscovy. Uh, holy war, right? Revolutionary war. 100% cost. Cleansing of heresy. 100% cost. It all costs 100%. But this one gives us less aggressive expansion. Yeah, let's do the revolutionary war because it's less aggressive expansion. And the war goal is to take their capital. Wow, that was a really, really enjoyable neck pop. And of course, declaring war causes rebels to spawn. For some reason, it's magic. Uh, so we have claims on all these provinces. And um, we're going to give, what is it, this one and this one. Yeah, these two are going to go to our vassal Novgorod. Beautiful. That would give us a border with Kazan. We can start going to war with Kazan. Why not? His ally is Oman. Yeah, because Kazan and Oman, they really get along. They're like, hey, you're the same color as me. Let's be allies. And he's like, okay. Can you help me in this war? No, it's too far away. Can you help me in this war? No, it's too far away. Can you help me in this war? No, it's too far away. They're all too far away. I get it. You don't want to help me in any wars. I get it. I could release Scotland. Oh no, that's Norway. I thought that was Scotland. That's Norway. Damn, I was thinking we could release Scotland and then go give them all that shit. But nope, not a possibility. Oh well. So Novgorod is annexing. Uh, we're going to feed them two more provinces before they uh, annex. Why don't you come on up as backup. And let's go. Austria, please join. He won't. Oh. So, when I declared war, it said they would join, and now it says they won't join. That sounds like a bug. Okay, our diplomat's home. When can we start on Riazan? Next year, right? Two years from now, okay. And then Bosnia, 1944. Okay. Uh, go back to Silesia, maybe? Or Peskov? Yeah, go to Peskov. Why not? He has a whopping 24,000 guys total. Ooh, more base tax. Nice. And Por Portugal keeps trying to steal my cardinal. That's not very nice of you, Portugal. Not nice at all. Does he even have a navy anymore? I don't see a navy anywhere. But we can at least blockade a little bit to help out. Let's get some mercenaries. That should be plenty. Go we'll help out in the battle. Actually, you're closer, huh? Oh, he's trying to run away. Don't let him run away. Kill him dead. Smack him in the pooper. All right, you guys go siege up Ladoga. Wait, that's my province. You guys go siege up there. You go up there. Okay, Riazan is coming in. Lithuania is coming in. Everyone's coming in. Good. Okay, rebels are dead. Uh, more mercs, go on. And I need more mercs.
Wait, did I do a cannon? No, I want the pikes. <laughs> Why would I do a cannon? But yeah, we'll siege all this up with mercs. I don't want to use regular units for this crap. In fact, I probably don't have to siege anything myself at all. I'll just use the mercs and all my vassals can do the rest. Go team vassals! Wait, where's the second merc for here? Oh, you're there. Okay, yeah. Almost there. Hurry up and arrive, damn it. There you go. So the target of the war is to take Moskva. So we'll get extra war, or a ticking war score once we take that. But I guess there's no real rush, is there? The Popery Act. <laughs> Bohemia enacted the Popery Act. Italian engineer available. What will he give me? 40 military points. Yeah, sure. Why not? We're not ahead on military tech, are we? Oh, we are ahead on military tech. Hmm, okay. That well, won't be for long. We'll save up our points a bit. Okay, the king of Austria has died. Tell me you have no heir. Tell me you have no heir. Damn it, he's only 19 and he already has an heir. Is it a weak claim heir? No, it's not. Damn it, why are you having sex at 19, Austria? What the hell? Well, we'll have to wait for another option, I guess. Another opportunity. Anywho, we're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. We'll come back next time where we will peace out Muscovy. And, uh... I'll try to get rid of this pro this province. We can't sell it while it's sieged, and we can't we couldn't even sell it before it was sieged. So I'm not sure what we can do about this province. I don't know. Go to war with Brittany and surrender it to him. Psh, who knows? I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.